I craft him. Today we shall be making this beautiful fascinator. Let's get started. We shall start by making the queen on the plate. If you're new here, you're highly welcome. I am Ibiwari. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. I will really appreciate you subscribe as I'm starting this channel afresh. So for our crinoline, I made this of 30 inches length and it's the big size crinoline. So it's about 7 inches width. So we start by folding in the first, uh, the first bit of the crinoline. You can actually go ahead to use glue to apply on the rough edges so that it won't fray before you fold it in. Then we just start pleating it the way I'm doing. We'll pleat it all through to the end. So I'm already at the other end. So like I said, you can use UHU glue for both ends of uh, the rough edges before you fold it in. So we'll fold it in the way we did the beginning. Then for me, I just go ahead to wrap it with my the thread of my threaded needle that I'll use in sewing it. I first of all wrap around it to hold it firmly in place before I stitch down. So this will keep my pleats very firm together. So I'll just go ahead and stitch it down. So kindly like, share this video, and please do subscribe for more Edward tutorial, fashion accessory DIYs, and millinery tips. So this is uh, another thing you can make out of the pleated crinoline. Just stitch it down and you get that uh, round base. So for our fascinator making, we have our bishop cap, our fascinator base, our crinoline pleats, our fishing line i'm using the rice flour here uhu glue and my scissors and my net so all items used will be in the description box below kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified when new uploads are made so to start off with i'll Go ahead to knot my elastic band. That is how I do mine before I attach it to my fascinator base. I just do one time knotting of my elastic band. Now, for the measurement of the elastic band, according to the head size of the person or yourself, that is what you use. For me, I use uh, 11 inches for this one. So you can just measure the head size, how comfortable it will be for the person. So after making the knot on both ends of my elastic band, I'll go ahead to attach it. But before I attach it, first take note of where you want to be the front of your fascinator before you go ahead and attach it by the sides so that you know that once the person puts it on, it fits perfectly. So to sew my uh, elastic band to my base, I make sure my needle passes through that knot I made. This is to make it firm, to secure your elastic band firmly to your fascinator base. So I'm using my table to assist me pull my push my needle through my base. So you've known my secret. I use my table to help me with that. So once I go through the come out to the other side of the fascinator base, I go directly almost the same spot back in. But when I go back in, I ensure it caches my knot again. I ensure it caches my knot. This will make my elastic band firm. So it's only once and it's already firm. So I can do it multiple times to make ensure it's very firm. I'll do the same thing for both sides. So I'm done attaching my elastic band. So we are ready for the fun part. Let the fun begin. Now we attach this is a quick fascinator for your weddings, for events, dinner, church. You can make it for yourself quick and easy and off you go slaying. 
So for my net, I wanted to have this bird cage look. So for the net, I used half a yard. So depending on how full or uh, lengthy you want it to be, go for a longer length. So for this, there is a tiny, tiny boxes that attack and uh, attaches the net one to another. So just ensure your needle goes through those tiny boxes. Cash those tiny boxes. Then from one end, I'll do the same to the other end of the net. Then I pull it together. I'll just go ahead and cash all my tiny box and pull it together. This is what it looks like. So if your uh, net is longer, it comes out fuller. So it depends on what you want. So I'll go ahead to stitch it down so it stays in place that way. Just hold it to secure it in place. So if you've watched up to this point and you've not joined the craft team, what are you waiting for? Follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on TikTok at Ibis Fine Crafties. And please click that sus uh, subscribe button. I'm starting this channel afresh after I lost access to the first Ibis Fine Crafties YouTube channel. So please join me on this channel and let's work on the journey together. So... When I'm done, I will now attach it. But first of all, take note of how the placement will be. Ensure you know the placement you want before you attach anything to your base. You take note of how you want. If you like it the way it's looking, then you go ahead to sew it down. So I'll just place my net, then my queen aline pleat on my net. That is how I want to place it. Before So I've already attached it. For my quinoline pleat, you notice the red ribbon I have on is to cover the thread with which I used to put all it down in place. So you can use whatever you like to cover your thread or any color of your choice because it won't show. For me, the way I placed my stuff, the red ribbon won't show. So I'll go ahead to tie. I've stitched my net and my ribbon, my quinoline pleat together. So I'll go ahead and tie it in place before i add other things to my fascinator and we are almost done that's quick and easy it's easy to make so i'd like to see your creations if you made this fascinator please tag us show us share with us on facebook at ibis fine crafties tag us on on twitter at ibis fine crafties do a tiktok video Show us, then we'll share your your crafts, your work you did, and we we'll really appreciate to see your creations. So I'm done uh, putting putting them in place. So I want to go ahead to place my feathers. Well, okay, I have only one feather. <laughs> so I want to place my feather where I want it. Always check where you want your placement to be before you put it down so that you're, you're, sure, you're sure that when you put it down, it is the way you want it to be. So I'll just ensure is where I want it to be before I go ahead and apply my glue to it. Yes, it's where I want it to be, making some little adjustments. Okay, I like it. Then I'll go ahead and apply my glue and my rice flowers then we are done but for your uhu glue ensure you apply and allow a little time for it to dry a bit before you press down that way it holds firmly it holds firmly so i'll apply on the feather first then while it's drying i'll apply on my rice flour 
I'm so excited because this fascinator came out looking gorgeous. Looking beautiful. So I'll put my feather in place, hold it down, press it to stick it together to my fascinator base. Then I'll go ahead and press down my rice flour to my fascinator base. So if you've watched up to this point, you've not joined the craft team, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button. Let's walk on the journey together. Hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified when I upload new videos like this one. More videos to come. I know you don't want to miss out. Look at what we made. Isn't this lovely? Isn't this lovely? Tell me isn't this lovely yes it is i know that is your answer that is your response it is to finish up my look i place some stones strategically on my net and it gave that final look look at this gorgeousness this is beautiful if you ever create this share with us so that we'll share your creations to others thank you for watching Please join the craft team. Subscribe to this new Ibis Fine Crafty channel and let's walk on this journey together. Till we meet again next time, be creative and bye.